Hello, welcome back to Ultimate Doom. We're in a box and it's scary. I feel like this is the end level. So the Phobos Anomaly, I believe, is the name of this level because we are actually on Phobos. I'm very pleased that I didn't have to do too much there, but I'm also quite aware that I'm going to have to do quite a lot on this level. I think that we get... Um... Barons of Hell? Here? It's the first bosses. There's two of them. Well, we'll see. It won't, it won't be long before we get to them. Use my bullets because I have many. Uh, and there's a box. Obviously. So I do want to go in there. I've got 96 shells. A shitload of bullets. I'm actually not going to tempt fate by going into those things. I did pick up some armor, which is. Completely unexpected, because obviously I'd walked past it several times and failed to pick it up. I will fill up my bullets, but I think they're probably going to use mostly rockets. So we'll, we'll not get them ready, because no doubt the thing that attacks us will be right in front of us. But we push it a button. See, there isn't some weird textures I don't really like. They don't... It's very like it. Get okay. Partial invisibility. That was mad strats I never would have thought of in the old days. But that's, uh, that's fine. We're here now. We're grown ups. We know how to play games. And we're getting through this. Quick as you like. There we go. Right, let's uh, get our rocket launchers out. These look like Barons of Hell rather than Hell Knights. Uh, one of them's green, one of them's. Pink. Oh, you didn't last long at all. Okay. So here's one of the uh, the first interesting things that Doom did, which is well, uh, first of all, now that I actually understand what's happening here, I I can recognise what this whole thing is doing, right? Like this is the Phobos anomaly. This is the actual this is the summoning chamber, I guess. You can see how there's gross off the ceiling and the floor's fine. Um, yeah, this is the, this is the summoning chamber of the whole thing. So this must be where they originally did whatever it was that was causing the stuff to happen. That, that caused the helm to open in the first place. This whole place actually turned out to be that. And these walls don't show up. Now in the old days it used to be if you made a wall too long it would vibrate. Uh, because of the rendering. But I think with modern rendering that is never going to happen. But uh, I just wanted to check. Um, yeah, that's good. But here's the, uh, the thing that always got me was that if you go into here stairs to raise even though they cut off weirdly which is kind of annoying again you can't adjust the alignment of floor textures in in doom or in hexen uh here is the big scary thing and i've fallen off whilst trying to show you and if you jump into it you just get the hell beat it out of you but just before you die this happens and I, I discovered that whilst editing levels, that you know, just before you die, this happens. Once you beat the big badasses and clean out the moon bits, it should be in an American accent, but I am doing it. You're supposed to win, aren't you? Aren't you? Where's your fat reward and check it home? What the hell is this? It's not supposed to end this way. It stinks like rotten meat, but looks like the lost Demos base. So we've gone from Phobos to Demos, I think. Looks like you're stuck in the shores of hell. The only way out is through when you're stuck in hell. When you're going through hell, keep going. To continue the Doom experience, play the Shores of Hell and its amazing sequel, Inferno. So, um, that's the end of the first thingy, but we're going to continue. Basically, you start a new uh, thingy, a new game with nothing, as usual. So, we're gonna. this is a bit like Heretic, which we've seen Rorax play. You start again, you probably just get a bunch of, bunch of weapons very quickly. Excuse me for hiccuping like that. I don't honestly remember. I don't remember this level. Though. This is a uh, this is Act Two, as it were. We have uh, we've just appeared here, which is presumably supposed to represent some sort of I don't know. We've just we've, we've appeared in here. Just, just go with it. So here's some uh, ammo, but yeah, we've got no weapons okay. except for the pistol we came in with, which is kind of annoying because when I came down here. I came down here with a very clear array of weaponry, including a chain gun, a shotgun, and a rocket launcher, which would be super useful right now. 
As with many games, you start off weak and it's difficult, and then, you know, you start to gain more power as you go along, and the idea is to level faster than the game, basically. Uh, and this has happened once again. We are... Excuse me, where's my shotgun sound? Um, we are levelling reasonably quickly, thanks to the shotgun trooper. Okay, uh, that goes down and didn't tell me it was gonna. I think it's called a shotgun trooper. It will be it. Push button, receive, nothing. So, that seems to match this. This music reminds me of Duke Nukem. And not 3D, I mean the original. Okay, it's not much that. So what I'm going to do is stand here and shoot, <laughs> because I know better than to move right now, because I've played video games before, and I know that these will attack me. And even if they don't, they'll be dead, so whatever. I'm trying to remember if there was a... I got a little bit distracted. Okay, so this is the first uh, hellish thing. These switches are actually skulls, skull switches. We have started our journey into hell, as far as I understand. Ow. And uh, you notice there's a sort of a combination of military base and... Oh, it did that. Um, military base and actual hell stuff. That's not really a secret, there was a button for it. Um, I think that's intentional. I think that's the story that they're telling. That's the same, basically the same story as from Doom 3. Um, well, that, that needs a blue key, and that needs a red key, and we don't have either, so what do we do? <laughs> teleport back? Yes, okay, very well. We can teleport back, so I have done so. That reactivated itself. What's happening? Okay, so enemies can teleport too, don't forget that. So look, you've got, like, normal building here, but you've also got weird red inverted cross thing. It does hurt you if you spend too long in it, but I'm not going to, because I'm on permanent run, because I know what's good for me. Uh, somewhere scary. Help. Our first cacodemon, yay. Ow. 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 Let me out. I'm not a fan of this at all. I'm a fan of this, though, so I'm glad that I came here. <laughs> it's always my favourite sound effect from the... Doom was the sound of a cacodemon dying. It's just, it's just a silly sound. I think we've got everything on value from here. And some HP back, so I don't feel too badly about that. We now have a cell based uh, a plasma gun, which is pretty powerful, but they don't necessarily stock you up too quickly on ammo, so we are running short pretty quickly on that. So we don't want to use it too much. Well, I'm tempted to right now. Die. If you run past those things, they stop to nom you, but then miss. So that is an option right there. Four, five, six. Six fucking shotgun shells of all. All. all however many pellets they have. It's a lot. happening. Key dokey. So many teleports in this particular level. And I'm slightly worried that we're about to find that, um... Okay. Six. Right, we needed to do that. Again, exit and yet yeah, weird teleport thing. Look, this is it's very, very cheap you can. Um, 50% secret, it's not very good. Still, trying to get through it, just want to play the game, see what it looks like, try and reconcile what I knew to, what I, what I know about New Doom with uh, what, I, what I see. So we're going to have to use our pistol for a while, but I'm fairly confident that there's only imps and, and zombies around for now, so we should be okay. At least I know how to step around the corner. Swats. Team style. What is. Th There's a correct term, like military style, police style, I don't know. There's a term for the way you uh, address a room when you expect there to be 
palmed papers. Oh, yes. Uh, let's, let's not talk about this and talk about the fact that I can now run around punching things because I got berserk. I'm not quite sure how to know when it's run out, except to, uh, yeah, probably, probably stop now. So berserk is cool, you pick up berserk, you get your fist out, uh, and you start one-shotting enemies. Have we really got no ammo for anything? That's, that's upsetting. Let's, um, let's try to reconcile, rectify that a sap. Okay, this less, of course. I mean, we're supposed to be a marine here. I'm talking about, you know, you see it on TV. I assume it's. Oh, fuck. Can't change weapon. Oh, God. My keyboard's not working. It's, it's, it's recognizing S, but not W. Okay, that was scary. Um, 63 ammo for a pistol is not really going to get me through the rest of this level. I'm hoping to be able to pick up that shotgun that I saw. This is not the entrance. Mm. Co-op. Uh, on the real entrance, wherever the heck that was. There's nothing up here. Mm. Anyway, I was talking about that style of running around with your gun out when you check all the corners of the room and don't get shot yourself, clearing it out. As long as I do that properly, except not strictly that, but step around the corner, don't get shot in the frickin' hell face. Oh, actually that was a very useful uh, use of the shotgun that I didn't ask for, but I'm grateful for. Ah, uh, okay. So we've opened up onto this sort of hellish cathedral thing, so I think this is the part of the game where they try and tell the story that the, the legions of hell sort of thing that started infiltrating in a sort of a, a demented, deranged way. Uh, replacing or you know, attaching themselves to the real world. Well, that says out of all ammo, of all types, so I guess we just go around punching imps. Great. Great. Nice. Missed. Wouldn't mind the chainsaw. But pretty strong, actually. We're jibbing these things. I assume we pronounce it jibbing. I always did. Because it's giblets, right? We end up with giblets. No, no, no. We might as well stock up on actual ammo by one shotting everything with our fist. Point blank range. I can actually manage that. There we go. Man, this guy knows how to party. Check this out. He's only got one knuckle duster on. It's slightly spiky. I guess that's all the difference. What a legend. What an absolute legend. We have now got four... Eight bullets. Sorry, 20 bullets and eight shells. So we are quids in already. Now, we, I guess we need to go and investigate that area that... This one that I was mentioning is... See, I don't understand it. It's just this metal gateway. Maybe that used to be solid and now this whole place... Uh, this says UAC over there, so... You know, it's obviously been converted. Like, they've merged. The, the weirdnesses mm. have merged. Mm. Like, this is, this is hell stuff, right? But this is UAC stuff, so that's always been there. But the walls have changed. <coughs> At least that's what I assume I'm supposed to assume. So I know for a fact because I've played this game before and I wouldn't say studied, but I've, I'm aware of how the engine works. But, um, you don't have to use a weapon that actually makes a noise for the weapon to be considered to have made a noise. So you just need to wave your fist and everything in the vicinity will wake up. It's great. Barrels explode. As we know. Please. There's plenty of health around, so I'm not... Ooh. Hey, do you know what you should do? Punch an exploding barrel. That would work. Uh, I know I'm not too worried about uh, using HP as a resource right now, because I know there's a lot of opportunity to refill it. But 
this is a bit of a maze, isn't it? I used to make levels like this, actually. This was one of my favourite things to do, was to make warehouse-type levels with a lot of Z-axis work. Even though this game didn't really... I wouldn't say it didn't really use the Z-axis, because obviously it does, but... There wasn't anything going underneath anything else in those days. Except for your mum. Uh, because it's a, it's a two-dimensional engine. It's just rendered in three dimensions using magic. But I, I really like making these close quarter type uh, warehousey maps where there's just a lot of busy work going on, but it's really easy to justify. I, I saw that. Hello. People still disparage Doom 3, and I, I recognise that there's a lot of well, cheapness maybe going on in it. Um, but the way they reinvented a lot of these monsters was... I really enjoyed it. Like, the, the screen is gone. The ones in Doom 3, with the blurry effect when they, sh like, charge you down. I enjoy it. Yeah, that hurts, okay. I was just thinking, do you reckon this hurts? Uh, it turns out, it does. Yeah. Nice one. Thanks for trying. <laughs> it's good to experiment. We'll science it. Don't need to science it. Uh, probably guess by the fact it looks electric and zappy. Appreciate these shells. Appreciate this, even though it's going to beat the crap out of me. Yeah, we're stuck. Oh, my rocket now, please. Ah, uh, oh, This is like the monstro fight in an arrow room. Stay on one side. Well, that was a good guess. Uh, stay on one side, and then when it attacks, move to the other side. Give yourself as much range as possible. You can tell it's that. This is a secret? But I had to find that secret to let myself out of there. Okay, as you wish. The noises these things make don't really look like the... Don't really look like them. It's just a simple... It's a weird noise. Although the, the sound of the imps will always be with me and should be part of gaming history forevermore, in my opinion. Why don't you just walk along this zappy thing? I like the, um... I like the idea of using environment. Uh, that's a sort of a... Staging ground for, for battles. Like, I'm thinking of games where you would find some sort of uh, advantage to being human. You see boots that, uh, like a hazmat suit, for example, boots that let you walk on sludge, and then you use that. Ooh, I'm appreciative of that plasma pack. Then you use that to cause the enemies to take damage, so you walk on sludge. Uh, and, and they take the damage. Pretty sure all this armor that's knocking around as well. They seem to be being very generous. Then again, I guess if you... Ooh, I hate that. Uh, if you take it from the point of view of the original uh, the original intention of the game, which was to not play it the way I'm playing it, you probably need a lot more advantages to even get through. I can see the secret. Okay. Probably should have picked up some actual HP before I ran down here and picked these up, but I am not complaining. Mm. In the slightest. Uh, we don't have a key yet, so we'll continue. I am using my fist, um, just like your mama. This is a cool idea as well. I always like this. It's like the uh, traditional puzzle platformer, but in mm. Doom mode. Nothing there. Probably should have just legged it, to be quite honest. Oi! Excuse me. That was a direct hit to the face. You should have fallen into pieces. Instead, you just continued walking. Very, very rude indeed. Punch. I mean, one, one punch man. Yeah. This is One Punch Man the movie. Uh, I mean, the, the computer game. It actually came out several decades before One Punch Man itself did, but let's not talk about that. Let's not draw too much attention to that. Oh yeah, crushes, because we haven't had enough of the standard puzzle platformer tropes already. I'm uh, probably just going to try and deal with these things from a distance. This is going to be really loud on the um, video, actually, now I think about it. At least you can use this to your advantage, because they will just stand underneath them and die anyway. Try and stall it. Okay. We're getting 
there as well. And don't see. Okay. I'm gonna run here with my shotgun out because I expect to be things at close quarters that would benefit from being shotgunned in this place. I am noticing there's a chainsaw in this direction, so I'm pleased to have come here. Well, these crosses are loud. And let's talk about what they're here for. Oh god. Get out. We found the chainsaw, so at least we can... Ooh. What do you reckon? I like it. My character has decided that this is hard work and needs proper expression. Not even hard work, it's very exciting. Taking a little bit of damage, but these things don't hurt nearly as much as I expect them to, based on their terrifying misdemeanors. Uh, misdemeanors? Maybe. So this is a very loud area. Obviously, when I when I fix this, I will just have shouted for no apparent reason because I'm going to have turned this down by then, but I'm sure you can understand my predicament. Uh, I think we'd rather have the bullets. Take that. Okay, we've got the blue key, which is nice. Which means we can get back. Holy crap! That literally made me jump. Whew, good job. Well done, uh, Doom people. You terrifying people, you. So we need to find a yellow key. I don't know what these um, outlined areas mean. Maybe those are the secrets? Perhaps. Let's go back. Oh, we've got the, we've got the yellow key as well. So we want to go in here. Mm. This? Nope. The map sort of spoils the uh, mm. effect of the warehouse because obviously on the map you've got the individual things mapped out. It's a warehouse. Like a real map to show shape the warehouse, right? So, okay. Make sure that door will open again if I need to run away like a coward. I mean like a boss. Of course. Okay. I see you there. I also seem to remember a potential for finding a rocket launcher here, so I'm going to press all these buttons. Just how do you need a secret? All I did was pull the switch. Should I switch here? Yes. Okay. What do you think that switch is then? Rockets. Oi, you're supposed to die from that. Rockets. Coquettish rockets. Coquettes? No. No, no, no. I assume there's a, a coquette or a coquette. I mean, I assume it's a word. Come on. Where's my other switch then? Hmm. Good question. Oh, there's another yellow door. Okay. That's suggestive of further yellow shenanigans. Let's go find it. How do we get to it? Around here. This warehouse. Who arranges a warehouse like this, though? This wasn't even a yellow door all along. Maybe it was. This is a yellow door. Okay. Devoid of... Yeah. Now we get attacked. Yeah. Where's my chain? Got a chainsaw and a chain gun today. Very nice. Doors, unfortunately, do not have the same effect as actual crushes. Then again, I guess that's unfortunate for me in this situation, but not when I'm stuck in the door. So there's a weird thing, it fills up with poison. A secret is revealed. It's just a yellow door. Hmm. That's annoying because I'm fairly sure there's a rocket launcher in that, so we'll look we'll, at we'll the switches. Also. Doo -doo. Thank you. Oh yeah, I wanted to get that, didn't I? How the heck did you get that? Use it? No? What are you grunting for? Maybe it just goes down at some point. But again, like, that's a very sort of out of character, arcadey thing for a computer game to do. Like, boxes in warehouses don't randomly disappear into the floor because you walked across a certain part of the warehouse. Ooh. That's very useful. Just like that. That doesn't happen. It's a warehouse. Why would the... Why... Just... 
appreciate it. You know, it's not like uh, it's ill-received to have found a... Uh, I guess we want to go down and crush this. I'm not salty to have found a bunch of shotgun shells in a warehouse. It's, I guess it's like the kind of shotgun shells, but, you know, modern... Modern computer games, and again, I'm going to compare it to Doom 3. The way they hid the secrets was in plausible ways that you would hide secrets. You know, you, you might put them in locked storage, for example. Where the heck are those? That way. All the way to the end. Excuse me? Not all the way to the end. I'm so confused. Here we go. Let's vote one. I might have to go without my rocket launcher for now because I'm lazy and can't be bothered figuring out how to get into the uh, the extra door. It's probably a secret that does it. Yeah. Heck it. Let's go. 66% secrets. I'm sure we'll find another one, but we'll do that in the next episode. And thank you for watching this one, and I hope you will join me then. But until then, good day. <laughs>